what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel chef scott back in the kitchen cooking up some builds and today we're going to go over my new favorite hunter build this thing's pretty crazy if you want survivability due to classy restoration if you want to be invisible if you want to have a 70 percent damage increase to your weapons and you want to have one of the highest producing dps supers in the game well this is going to be for you this really does have the whole package put together and it's extremely strong before we get too far into it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification so you are notified when we post new videos. And also, please leave us a comment. We love the dialogue and all of the ideas that you guys have to make builds better. Other than that, let's get into this build. All right, so we're going to be on that solar subclass, and we are going to be using the Blade Barrage, one of the highest DPS supers in game right now, and also very easy to use. Now for the dodge, we're going to be using Gambler's Dodge. Dodging near an enemy fully recharges your melee ability. This pairs really well with our exotic piece, uh, as we're going to be utilizing that melee quite a bit. Now for the melee, we are going to be using Knife Trick. Throw a fan of flaming knives that scorch targets on hit. Very consistent knife, really easy to get the hits on and the kills. Um, pairing that with Incendiary Grenade, for the bigger tankier targets, you can throw an Incendiary Grenade, add that Scorch, throw the uh, Flaming Knife trick, and then get that uh, Ignition off as well. So just really consistent pairing overall, and, and you'll really like this combo. All right, let's get into the fragments. So fragments, we're going to have Ember of Searing. Defeating Scorched Targets grants melee energy. Again, we're leaning on that melee energy just to make sure we always have that knife up as it's going to be um, really the centerpiece of this particular build. We'll have Ember of Solace. Radiant and Restoration effects apply to you last longer. We'll have Ember of Torches. Powered melee attacks against combatants make you and nearby allies radiant. Um, we're going to have Ember of Empyrean. Solar Weapon Final Blows extend the duration of Restoration and Radiant. And then we're also going to have Ember of Singeing. Your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets. Again, just really leaning heavily into those uh, scorch and melee um, abilities. Now for the aspects, we've got the knock them down, and then we're going to have on your mark. Um, just really nice combo, allows you to have five fragments, um, and the on your mark is really nice for your weapon handling and reload as you get that going. All right, so let's take a look at our exotic pieces, which is going to be the Assassin's Cowl. Powered melee final blows grant invisibility and restore a portion of health and shields. Finisher and final blows against more powerful targets increase the duration of the invisibility and the amount of health and shields restored. Now this exotic perk is just so strong with this loadout. Um, you're going to have invisibility at all times. You're going to be restoring health and shields, and then when you put it with classy restoration, you're pretty much unkillable. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our armor mods. So we're going to have the melee well maker, so we can produce uh, elemental wells. We'll have harmonic siphon, so we can produce orbs of power with our solar weapons. And then whatever uh, weapons you're using, just uh, choose the appropriate finder. Now let's take a look at this assassin cows in, at work and see how much uh, health and shields you get back. Just really, really strong. Then pair that with classy restoration and you're pretty much unkillable. All right, on the arms, we're going to have Font of Might. Picking up that elemental well will increase the damage of your solar weapons by 25%. And then in the middle slots, you are pretty open to whatever. If you have champions, use champion mods. Um, or you can use a grenade kickstart or a melee kickstart based on what your preference is. Um, so you're pretty open on that and flexible based on your activity. All right, going on to the chest, we've got High Energy Fire. Now, High Energy Fire is stacking with Radiant right now, and it is stacking with Font of Might, so all three will stack together for that 65% damage increase, which is extremely strong, extremely strong. On the legs, we have Elemental Charge, so we become charged with light by picking up that Elemental Well. And then, of course, whatever scavenger, um, just pair it to your weapons, and you'll be in good shape. All right, now let's look at the class item. So on the class item, of course, we're going to have Classy Restoration, just so that survivability and tankiness is there. Now, if you have a uh, champion in the activity you're going with, go with Revitalizing Blast. Just does such a great job adding that extra DPS to the champions, and it does clear your shield stuns. So your shields will start to regenerate faster. If you're not going against champions, I would suggest Solar Fulmination here, um, or you can go with a Bomber, so you can, again, keep those uh, abilities up as much as possible. Uh, if you go with a Bomber, then you're able to fit in something like, say, a Well of Life, but the Well of Life's not needed because you really are so tanky, and you're getting all of that life and shields back from Assassin's Cal.
Now for weapons, just use whatever you really want. Just make sure you have that solar weapon to take advantage of all of the weapon increase. And also, Anarchy is extremely strong right now. Um, you can go ahead and uh, utilize that for some quick and easy damage. Other than that, I'm going to let you uh, see how a uh, Legend campaign uh, plays out. This is my new favorite place to test builds because it caps your light and um, you're going up against a lot stronger uh, combatants. So, you know, until we get GMs unlocked, this is really the best place to uh, test things out. Other than that, Guardians, good hunting.